Welcome to another teardown video. This funny equipment is what Buch and Holm and then JK8500 cell constant Siemens thingy and an on off switch cell thingy. And what we found out is yeah, it's made in Denmark. Fantastic. But it only says what record output so there's an amplifier output stuff but the 9 volt input here is not specified what is plus and minus so we just assumed it was the center positive and then we just gave it 9 volts as they said and we limited the power supply for 500 milliamps and then we push push the button and then it goes like that 1.8 volt and 500 milliamps um, so there's definitely a short or this is wrong or we maybe we turn this wrong okay it's time to open this thing yeah okay, we are the biggest idiots sorry about that it's alive what we did is <coughs> we swapped the voltage and now it is alive and reading 0 0.2 bananas Oh, it can also... Let's try and put in some stuff here and see what it reads. That is what we're gonna see. And the, this is only using 11 milliamps. All right. So here's what we did. We put a kilo ohm and a scope. And of course this thing is measuring AC, right? So it's charging and discharging a capacitor and it looks a little bit like a capacitor. The signal here is really, really weak and it's full of noise and stuff. Oi! What's that? Oi, oi, oi! This is more of all the good things. Okay. Great. So, this will give us more volts and more of all the good signals. Fantastic. Let's open this magnificent. Look at that. Where is everything? Look what this can do. You can put in a battery pack and then there is no switching between battery pack. Right? So, ah! Oi, 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 cell constant thingy. What's that? This is for adjustments of something. Yes, let's try and crank this. Oh, so this is calibration. Nice. So, this is what it does. Really nice. This display unit and a... This is obviously some op amps and this oscillator circuit and the selector. I guess this readout board will mo most likely be a standard, standard component. So here's the logo and name for the display board Hydria Electronic, I guess it turns out this is actually an op amp, just a quad op amp and those two are 741s, so that's also op amps so this is all this thing does I was expecting a little bit better trimmed resistors for the different ranges because when we adjust the different ranges and calibrate for correct readout it's not accurate in the next range and then we trim this to be accurate then it's not accurate in the other ranges so they could have used a little bit more accurate resistors so that's a little bit of a pity but other than that it's quite a sexy uh, size for this uh, mk case it can probably be reused for something else and the, those feet are really nice and cute it looks a little bit like they manufactured, manufactured a few of these because everything here is really nicely made it's not a, definitely not a prototype this is how you you could manufacture stuff so and 
this is real real paint and everything so if you clean this up it's gonna look real nice but I would have preferred a sticker with the reversed input so the center pin is negative hmm.